Hi, I am Eliana Jimeno. I am the new um, advocacy and campaigning coordinator at WAVE and I come from Colombia and I'm really happy to be able to support the WAVE network. Well, um, I think that when it comes to activism, there are different levels of work. And in my case, when it comes to human rights activism, I will see myself more as the second tier activism, meaning I am not necessarily the person who is in front when it comes to facing protests or being uh, the public face of activism, but rather the person who is behind supporting those who are in the front line. And why do I think that is relevant? Because uh, this work really demands a lot from people emotionally, uh, it's very taxing. So the bulk of my work has been specifically providing support, capacity building, uh, creating safe space for people who do the frontline activism to be able to unpack their experiences, to gain more tools to do their work better and to be there to support them. So um, I think that is a very relevant aspect of activism because this is like a long marathon and then you do need moments when you need to take a rest and figure out how to continue with your path to continue to be effective. So I'll see myself more as the person who is there, ready to support, ready to adapt, very flexible and, and providing this type of uh, yeah, help to frontliners. I think one of the main challenges is that there is a lot of demand from activists to be ready always. And I think that the system in which we are doing the activism is a system that is built on the oppression of a lot of people. So one of the main challenges that I have faced is precisely when you are in front of a system that has very strong structures and that requires people to be constantly in the process of deconstructing it and it takes a toll on activists. So basically it's Again, it's a, it's a long effort that you might not necessarily see the results of immediately. And that can have an impact on how an activist feels uh, about their own work. And also because this different systems of oppression when it comes to the political system or the economic system or the social structures, it's something that is at a systemic level that is almost like this challenge between individuals and groups of people against a very structured system. So that feels like an imbalance. Um, and that is one of the biggest challenges that I have faced, basically to uh, have the, 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 the need to, to rethink how can we structure and, and think about our strategy in a way that we keep our personal level present and the aims of changing that systemic level as well present, but knowing that, that this is for the long run and it's gonna take some time. Hmm. Well, there are two things that I'm super proud of. As I was sharing at the beginning, my full focus is on creating a spaces of caring, I'll say, uh, for activists and frontliners. So I have had the chance on the one hand to create a network of peace builders and activists in different parts of the world and to, to create the safest space where they can come and lower down their defenses and be themselves and to be vulnerable and to feel like they can talk about their own challenges, what is difficult, their moments of despair, as well as their moments of, of complete happiness and achievement, but to have that space there. So that place where nobody is demanding anything from them, but they are actually being embraced. So that was one space uh, that, that I created with a group of people, it's an international network. And another one was something very similar in person. It was a three year project when we uh, put together a conference, but also different skills, building opportunities and workshops. 
And I'm very proud of that because it allowed for the knowledge of each of the persons who were there to emerge. So basically we didn't come with the idea of we're gonna to listen to experts, but we all have a shared knowledge that we can exchange. And that was also a very fruitful space. To me, because I'm, um, I'm constantly like doing different things, podcasts are very, very useful. So there's one that I found very interesting that is more related to uh, systemic change, uh, different systems of oppression and race that is called uh, Code Switch and it's really good. And there is another one that I also think when it comes to we as women, just to reconnect with, with ourselves and also have that space of, of self-care, but also of encountering again our agency and our strength is called rewilding for women. And I'll say it's not so much like on the human rights or activist end of things, but it's more like a, like a big circle of women talking about different issues that had to do more with uh, rediscovering the feminine energy within us, which I think is it's also very important. It's like nurturing our activism and our work from within. Um, so I really like those two because on the one hand code switch will give you like a lot of ideas and discussion and rewilding for women is a lot more about how we come together. It's about presence and it's about also caring for the individual within the group. I think, um, number one, read up about any topic that you want to do activism on. Number two, uh, just find your edge. I think that, that we all have a gift and it doesn't make sense to try to be someone else. Uh, like we have our own gifts and our own knowledge. So try to figure out what is it that make your heart tick. Because again, activism is a long run. It's a marathon and then you need to keep nurturing yourself and to, to be able to, to find that balance between what, what inspires you and what is also efficient and necessary in the outside, uh, you need to figure out what is it that really resonates with your heart. Reading, interacting with others, asking questions, and, and just trying things out until you can find something that really resonates with you. I think what I can bring to, to the WAVE network is this um, skill that I have to, to create a safer space when we can all share. Um, and also knowing that, that my place is not necessarily to be the, the, the person who is advancing the advocacy in the different countries, uh, but maybe more at the EU level, but when it comes to our national network members. I feel like my role is more there to be uh, ready to support, to provide tools, to, to listen, to, to offer my creativity, to offer my own knowledge, but also to articulate that with their knowledge. So context is very important when it comes to activism and I want to be the person who, who can help and support individual members and, and also to support the network to better connect and, and to have a space where we can all grow and also yeah, be more effective uh, nationally and also at the EU level. <laughs>